NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey created this thermal map of the temperature of the rubble. This map was created five days after the towers were attacked. Obviously, the rubble would be cooler after five days than it was on September 11th. Also, firemen sprayed water on the rubble during those five days. However, one location in the rubble of Building 7 was above the melting point of aluminum, and so was one location in the rubble of the South Tower. Not surprisingly, smoke came out of the rubble for months. Peter Tully, president of one company hired to remove debris, and Mark Lazo, president of Controlled Demolition, told the American Free Press that steel had melted at the bottom of the basements in the towers and Building 7. These incredible temperatures are more evidence that explosives were used. The explosives in the basements had to be powerful to break apart the massive steel beams. Explosives create very high temperatures, and the heat had nowhere to go since it was deep underground.